Oh, as they say, another day, another dollar. Oh boy. Yeah, you can hear from the voices that someone is excited about today. Good morning, Ranger. Uh, how's it going, my boy? Good morning, Oscar. All right, all right, doggies. All right, doggies. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning, bro. How's it going? Good morning, dude. Doing good? All right, let me do my intro here in the kitchen real quick. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is the owner of Eurotech. Goofy band right over here. Can you believe this? Uh, right, let me do my intro here real quick. Anyways, Ben is a very busy fella. You see that he's a little bit goofy, but boy, his schedule is usually really, really bad. Today is like that one day that he has some free time, so I decided to come here to Connecticut. We plan the stuff in advance so that we will be able to hop on the boat, hit the Connecticut River, and add a few more species to the 2023 Species Marathon, right? According to Ben, around this time of the year, there is even a chance that I could break my PB largemouth bass. You remember, I'm at four point nine two with that Silver Lake beauty right over there, right? So, you know what I'm saying? I decided to come over here. I don't know if you folks heard about this or not, but recently, Euro Tackle came out with a whole collection of one piece micro finesse rods, right? As a matter of fact, that last trout video on the YouTube channel in Connecticut that you folks watch over here, I was using the Z series rod over there, right? The only rod within the collection that does not have the solid tip technology. We will talk about that a little bit later today. But for now, hey man, Ben is making breakfast over here. Look at that, dude. Everyone is eating. The dogs are eating over here. We got Oscar, we got Ranger. Apparently, this is what we're having for breakfast today. As you folks know, I do love this stuff over there. So yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day out there on the water. Same cold the cat has, <laughs> has made himself comfortable right next to the GoPro. So as you folks can see, we have a lot of work to do this morning. We're going to eat, prepare the boat, launch it. I'll see you all out there, huh? On the water for some sleigh fest. Ben is currently flipping some pieces of wood right over here. Look at that sky, man. Cloudy, rainy, cold. We have had a lot of rain here in Connecticut recently. So the main Connecticut River the current over there is really bad, which is why the game plan for today is for us to hit little canals, little coves, marinas, where the current is a little bit better, right? We're going to be using a different assortment of lures, different rods, catching different species of fish. So without any further ado, let's get the casting started. <laughs> I'm not worried at all, dude. I don't need a lot of fish for this video, dude. Ah, give me a five pounder, you know? Even a three plus, a few, two, three plus, you know? Is your drag pretty open right now? Yeah. yeah. Kind of adjust it to not be too open. Otherwise, they're gonna run into a piece of wood or something. You're gonna mess me up. Definitely tapping a lot of structure, you know? Waiting for that one bite after the tap, but it's not coming. That's usually how it goes, so it's all right. Sooner, sooner or later, sooner or later. Easy, 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 easy. Easy boy, easy. Had to set that drag a little bit, you know. 
Or I don't know what it is yet. We'll, we'll find out. Bullfin? Four, nice four pound test. Four pound test. Let it run. Oh, door! Door, bro! Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. Take it easy. Did you see the size of that thing, door? Wait, 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 wait. Dude, it's a big ass bullfin, bro. Four pound test. We're gonna take it easy here, dude. Take it easy. Bro! What did he take? Uh, uh, the crankbait! Dude! Uh, oh. It's okay, it's okay. It's I okay. It's okay, dude. It's okay. Dude! <laughs> 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 On the Z series, you! Z series rod! Take it easy, four pounds, you know? I don't wanna rush it. I don't wanna rush it. I wasn't expecting one this big, you know? Oh, dude, they're always nice like this. Oh my gosh! It's okay, that's okay. All right, wait, 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 wait. One more head shake. A lot of power. Because it's four pounds, I, I, I can't force it. <laughs> can't leave this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave it there, leave it there. Dude, look at the size of that thing, bro. That is crazy, I'm gonna get my lipper. I'm gonna get my lipper. No, put your fingers. Oh, dude. Now let's take it out. That is a big fish. It's six pounds. It's big. I'm gonna use both hands for it, but dude, <laughs> look at the size of this thing. I'm not even playing. Look at the size of this bullfin right here. Look at the Z cranker in there. Can you folks see the Z cranker side of the mouth? This is a this is a big bullfin. We're gonna hook here real quick. Take a few shots of it. First bullfin of 2023. Put it back in the water. Take a few shots and release it. Oh man, take the lure out here real quick. All right, just took the lipper out of this bowl thing. We took enough photos. All right, back in the water goes. Dinosaur style. Dude, I'm gonna release it here towards the back of the boat. Don't worry, we've been giving water to this fish for quite a while. Oh yeah, dude, beast. Whew, thanks for all the support and uh, everything for the photos, dude. Oh, my pleasure. Ooh. You know, I'm trying to catch, I, I mean, Z, I don't even know what to say. Z cranker, bass told me maybe we'll catch a few bass here and there. Maybe a bow thing, but I didn't expect the bow thing to be this big. Dude, just this right here. Look at that. One Z cranker, natural red. Four pounds. That, that fish was definitely bigger than four, right? Than four pounds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> catch a five six pounder both of your four pound test line Woo, dude that was a surprise nice catch anyways back to the fishing seems to be going really well who knows what is going to come up next huh fish on N need the net nope. you're good yep. is it a bass nope. oh crappie oh come on they're using little jigs bro I, I thought we were bass fishing man or Oh, PF swim! Dude, what happened to taking photos for the video, bro? Oh, sorry. Let me catch another one. <laughs> Alright, catch another one, dude. We need some photos here, bro. So I'm here still focusing on, on the bass with the Z cranker. Ben tells me that, you know, there are some decent ones here, two to three pounds. But once in a blue moon, you can find the land one, you know, five to six. I'm not really using the live scope. He's in front with the live scope, but I'm just casting blindly uh, along the shoreline and uh, you know it's been real good i caught that big one right over there around that bandy area sometimes you see them come up you know even if the water's cold so that has been the game plan of the day dude is catching crappie over he just can't resist it you know what are you using for the crappie epf swim uh 132 or 116 116, 116 size 6 that is what's up there's like a piece of wood right under the boat. Ooh. No. No. I see what you changed the Euro Grub for, bro. That's that's what you got the bass boat for. Yes, sir. Bro, show us. Show us what you got. Show us what you got. Multi <laughs> multi species. <laughs> Lepomis. Do you know what is the last part of the scientific name? Magragurus. Almost, Macron. <laughs> okay.
yeah folks now you know how it is that's what we do out here we take out here the 254 stroke over here with the raptors only god knows how much is the boat is and uh, we come out here to the connecticut to catch bluegill no <laughs> we're just messing <laughs> ben's gonna catch us a nice crappie before the end of the day though he will he will i, ha I have faith in him meanwhile we're gonna keep Keep doing the stuff here with the Z cranker because I have faith in the Z cranker too, man. Hopefully we're gonna get the land a nice bass. Look at that! Look at that boy! Look at that boy! It's not a nice bass, but it's a bass. It's a bass, dude. It's my first dude. What is going on with this bass here, bro? This bass is messed up, bro. Dude, this is kind of like Connecticut zombie bass, bro. No, I'm not even making this up, but okay. Z cranker my man this bass is mangled holy smokes of all the connecticut bass that i have caught before this is definitely the one that you know we're not looking for look at this man holy smokes the meat is showing bro dude all right well mr bass i hope you have a good life down there Dude, gnarly, very gnarly. We just took some nice shots of that crappie right over there. I'm going to leave it on the screen for you folks here. Second black crappie of the day, the Pomoxis nigromaculatus. I haven't really had a chance to go for those yet today. And look, if you notice, right, check this out. The tip of my rod over here, right, Euroteco collection is actually black for us band back here right which rod are you using right now dude i'm looking at six seven yeah so he's using the six seven and you can see that the tip over there is actually white you want to explain to the public a little bit like the sure. differences explain to them dude what exactly is this solid tip technology you know so this, the rod dude the solid tip allows you to play with your lure in a very natural way just like this and when you get a bite, the fish loads up on it without feeling anything. And then you use the rest of the rod, the backbone, to do a nice hook set in it. So it's very sensitive and um, it allows you to really play with your lure the best natural possible way. Beautiful. That is what's up. So for folks who plan on getting one of those Euro tackle rods, you know what I'm saying? That is really one of the biggest differences, you know? When you have the wide of the tip, that solid tip technology, it is actually perfect for jigging, which is what Ben has been doing with the small jigs, right? Whereas for mine here, the Z series, this rod is really made more for micro finesse hard baits. So if you work along a lot with like a Z spander, Z cranker, the Z vibers, right? Or even the live spoon, the tungsten and everything, this the t flasher you know this is the stuff that you usually go with you feel me and that's the difference that it makes a big difference at the end of the day when it comes to you know casting your stuff working your lures detecting the bite right yeah ben's is still going for the crappies i'm still trying to catch the large mouth bass we still got plenty of time here at the canal you know just drifting along and hopefully we're going to have some amazing catch right another one other than that bow fin before we finish the fishing session out here stay tuned sometimes that is just how it is fish the entire morning out here it is 12 53 p.m right now we may have not broken the pb for the large mild black bass i'm still at 4.92 however that bowfin the amia calva at least for now right since they're getting is split later man that was a beast i don't think i have to speak too much in this video you just look at the numbers over there we've been doing real good out here all of my fish in this video were caught on the euro tackle z cranker natural red ben's been catching his fish on little jigs right if you plan on getting one of the rods man this is your opportunity okay you all know it go there promo code extreme fully fishing save yourself some big bucks right no joke man 10 percent off your entire order 
And not only that, check it out, huh? Now, I'm gonna leave it down here too. I also got a promo code for Norfing too. That's right. You folks probably see me around using the Norfing stuff. I just got a new set of Norfing waders, some thermal layers to keep me warm. You feel me? That's how we're going to row in 2023, especially with the beginning of the trout season. But this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching the video, folks. I'll see you all next time, maybe in Philly, tie lines, and take it easy. It is actually quite unbelievable, isn't it? When I shot this video back in March, together with Ben on the Connecticut River, I was truly stoked about the entire thing. I mean, I caught my PB bowfin that day, close to six pounds. I had a lot of good footage for a good video, introducing you all to the Euro tackle rods, right? The new one piece, micro finesse rods. And I had a lot of catches that day, you know, on video, crappie, bass, that together would have made uh, a 20 to 25 minutes video and even in this clip right now you can see Ben landing uh, another black crappie on one of his tiny jigs right that is why earlier in this video I mentioned in, in a certain sketch you know oh you know Ben just caught his second crappie right that's when we kind of talked a little bit a little bit about the Z series rod versus the solid tip technology and uh, the thing is, I don't know if you realize as you watch this video, but that day was drizzling out there. And what happened is the GoPros, they are waterproof. However, my external microphone, the Movo, it is not waterproof at all. So the microphone glitched. I lost about 50% of the footage, right? Here I just hooked a large mouth bass that was supposed to be beautiful footage for this video. And yeah, 50% of my footage uh, didn't have any audio in it. I realized that after I came back uh, to Philadelphia, right? And I passed the footage to the computer. So there, there you have it, right? This is the truth behind this video. It was real, real tough to edit this video. Uh, the concept of the video was great, but I was missing a lot of clips when it comes to the plot of the video, right? I was missing a lot of clips when it comes to the catches, so it was kind of like, you know, trying to build a table or a chair without the appropriate tools, you know? I had to kind of patch here a little bit, patch there a little bit, and make the plot work, right? And that's why this video kind of turned out pretty strange, right? As you folks can see in this clip, I just did a hook set on the Z-Series rod once again on another large mouth bass so it was a phenomenal day of fishing out there on the connecticut river right uh, sadly sometimes when it comes to the job right the job is not just all about fishing when it comes to the video plot when it comes to the footage things didn't really quite turn out <laughs> the way i expect it to be and boy look at that huh that large mouth bass he choked that z cranker man natural red one of my favorite colors I had to use the pliers to remove it. If you guys remember, right, if you ladies and gentlemen remember, the natural red is one of my favorite colors when it comes to the, to the Z-Cranker. That is the color that I used to catch that sheep's head down in Florida in the past. I was showing folks over here the red lips of the bass, right? Kind of telling people water is still cold, but the Z-Cranker is working. And finally, this last clip over here, that's, oh man, that was like the one black crappie that I caught that day on the Z Cranker, right? This little thing just catches, catches everything. But anyways, yeah, this is it for this video. I, I narrated over those extra clips for you all. I just wanted to let you know why the audio was kind of messed up in some portions of this video, right? Uh, the audio was messed up because I was <laughs> using the audio from the GoPro, you know, shooting the third person uh, POV, right? And I thought it was a waste to not publish this video at the end of the day just for the bowfin footage alone that turned out to be okay. 
So there you have it, man. One black crappie, beautiful black crappie from the Connecticut River on the Zeke Ranker, both hooks in its mouth, right? Hope you folks enjoyed this video. Time to release the last crappie. I'll see you all in the next episode here on the YouTube channel, okay? Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen.